Hi and welcome to Aviation and Air Traffic Controller Keep Educating Yourself series. Hope you have enjoyed previous video on GNSS. In continuation to that we are presenting next video and this lecture is about GNSS augmentation system. Systems used to improve upon GPS accuracy and integrity. GBAS is ground-based augmentation system. SBAS is satellite-based augmentation system. ABAS is airborne-based augmentation system. Ground-based augmentation systems GBAS. The coverage of the GBAS station is of about 30 kilometers. The GBAS ground subsystems provide two services. First, the precision approach service. Provides deviation guidance for final approach segments. Second, the GBAS positioning service. Provides horizontal position information to support RNAV operations in terminal areas. Its main principle is to measure on ground the signal errors transmitted by GNSS satellites and relay the measured errors to the user for correction. The ICAO GBAS standard is based on this technique through the use of a data link in the VHF band of ILSVOR systems. Satellite based augmentation systems SBAS. SBAS systems regionally augment GPS and GLONASS by making them suitable for safety critical applications. SBAS can provide approach and landing operations with vertical guidance APV. Precision approach service. SBAS include EGNOS in Europe, WAS in USA, MSAS in Japan, Gagan in India. SBAS consists of three elements, the ground infrastructure, the SBAS satellites, the SBAS airborne receivers. SBAS uses the same principle as GBAS to achieve 2 meters accuracy. The system is implemented by a network of reference stations providing regional continental coverage, a master station which collates the data, calculates a differential correction for each satellite in the GPS constellation being tracked and prepares a SBAS broadcast. A ground earth station that uplinks the broadcast to a geostationary satellite. The geostationary satellite broadcast of SV corrections as an additional CA code on the L1 frequency. An SBAS enabled GPS receiver which decodes the data and applies the corrections. There are a number of regional SBAS systems which enables interoperability so that any current SBAS enabled GPS receiver can work in USA, Europe, Japan and India. GNSS signals are received at 34 ranging and integrity monitoring stations. Differential correction signals are calculated centrally to cater for the entire region. Correction signals are sent via three geostationary satellites which broadcast using GPS L1 frequency but different PRN channels. Onboard SBAS receiver combines the corrections to achieve very high accuracy of typically 1 meter horizontally and 2 meters vertically. GNSS errors and SBAS. Basic GNSS systems, whilst highly accurate, are subject to technical Errors that are meaningful when the level of accuracy needed is measured in meters, satellite clock synchronization errors, signal distortions induced by satellite payload, satellite position errors. Additionally, between the signal broadcast by GNSS satellites and the actual position calculated by the user device there are a number of additional sources of error, such as ionospheric effects on signal propagation. Tropospheric effects on signal propagation. Reflections from terrain or objects known as multipath errors. Thermal noise, interference and receiver design. The principle of satellite-based augmentation systems is that a large number of ground stations monitor the position derived from GPS at their accurately surveyed, fixed locations. They calculate error correction feedback, information unavailable to the standalone GNSS system. This information is processed and broadcast via communications satellites and is used by SBAS GNSS devices to apply corrections which mitigate satellite clock error, satellite payload induced signal distortions, satellite position uncertainties and ionospheric effects. Tropospheric effects, 
multipath and user receiver errors are local effects that cannot be corrected by a global or regional augmentation system. Airborne-based augmentation systems. Its main principle is to use redundant elements within the GPS constellation, e.g. multiplicity of distance measurements to various satellites, or the combination of GNSS measurements with those of other navigation sensors, such as inertial systems, to develop integrity control. Unlike GBAS and SBAS, a BAS does not provide corrections to improve positioning accuracy. The global positioning system has been developed in order to allow accurate determination of geographical locations by military and civil users. It is based on the use of satellites in Earth orbit that transmit information which allow to measure the distance between the satellites and the user. If the signals from three or more satellites are received, simple triangulation will make it possible to determine unambiguously the location of the user. The GPS accuracy for military purposes, and some specific civil ones, is one meter or better. With the help of augmentation system the errors in GPS are corrected. The GPS accuracy for common civil users is 15 meters or better. All civil aircraft are now equipped with GPS. This allows the pilot to know the position of the aircraft and by continuously plotting this position on a computer map, to follow the progress of the flight along the chosen route. Thanks for watching. For more such informative videos, don't forget to subscribe this channel.